Hello, sweethearts and lovelies, and welcome back to Fresno's Master Duel, where I, Fresno, play games of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and talk over them. So, we're recording this on April the 25th. The Synchro Festival just wrapped, so that was interesting. But we do not have a Synchro Festival uh, match for you today. We have an actual, like, ranked match. Like, one of the few I did. I was just fucking around while I was on vacation in the beginning of April in the anime den. And we've got this duel versus Keg Pro, which I'm playing a new deck. I say new. One I haven't shown before. And they're playing an interesting deck. So this is a powerful deck I'm piloting. And I like this replay because it shows a little bit of everything that the deck can do. So might as well just uh, throw it on. It's a quickie. Let's... Uh, Let's see what we got here, you know? Okay, so we're rolling in here, and we're going to see what deck I'm playing. It may surprise you. It's a power deck. Oh, my. But they're going first. But we are playing Invoked Dogmatica Shadal, I-D-S, a powerful little fusion deck. They're playing, oh, let's, uh, let's just pause here. They're playing Magical Musketeer. Which is a wild little deck. And during either player's turn, they can activate magical mustics, musket <laughs> spell or traps from their hand. And they have column bullshit. And they also have this trap, where their monsters can't be destroyed by card effects, and this card's destroyed, so... It's, it's interesting. So, this guy does the thing, adds this to their hand, which is... Yeah, just a pop. So the idea is, I guess, they sit on their guy... And whenever I try to do anything, they're like, drop it from the hand, pop, drop their trap from the hand, pop. Fun little control deck thing. I, I respect it. I respect it. So, we're up, and we are going to draw into a terraforming, which is very good. We're going to fire that off. They're not going to negate it, and we're going to get Magical Meltdown, the uh, invoked field spell. And we drop it, which, when it's activated, I can search Alistair the Invoker. Now, I already have Alistair the Invoker, one of the best normal summons in the game, but... I guess they're thinking, well, I'm going to see what they're adding. Oh, shit. It's fucking Magical Meltdown. They're going for Invoked. We can't have that. Magical Must at Last Stand is basically just Solemn Judgment. <laughs> no, 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 it's not Solemn Judgment. It's Spell Trap Negate. So kind of Solemn Judgment. A decent little Spell Trap Negate. Anything. Just drop from the hand. Counter Trap, too, so can't really respond to it. So, oh, no. No search for me. No field spell for me. Good thing I drew into Alistair. So I know I'm on him. And with this effect, I get to add the, the Invoke Fusion spell, Invocation. I'm going to link off my Alistair for this monster, Artemis the Magistus. The only point is just you want to get the guy in the graveyard. Most people run Salaman Great Almirage for the Fire Monster for another Invoke Fusion, but, you know, this is like a super rare, whereas Almirage is an ultra rare. you got, you got to save your points somewhere. Anyway, we're going to fire off the Invocation, and we're going to fuse the Link Monster and the Alistair in the graveyard, to make one of, uh, probably one of the most powerful Invoke cards. Invoke Makaba, which 2,500 body, and as a quick effect, when, anyth when anything's activated, I can send the same type of card from my hand to the graveyard to negate and banish. So, you know, in Makaba Pass, just <laughs> me negate card, <laughs> which, but I'm not done because I have the Dogmatica and they fire off their thing to pop my Makaba. And I don't have any traps! So, that's that's one way to have it. But I do at least get Dogmatica Fleur de Lee the Knighted because an extra deck monster was on the field so I could summon it. And it basically pumps all my shit. And then I can Invocation to shuffle the spell back and get the Alistair back for value. And we can also summon this by banishing the Makaba. And now I can go in and boost all my Dogmatica monsters, which they basically summon themselves with an extra deck bullshit that's on the field. It, it, so, it's, you can see the synergy. You easily drop down the fusions, and then you've got an extra deck monster on the field, so you can drop down these big boys. So, for their turn, I've gone down to about half, my big boys. And they have another normal summon of this guy. And then they go into the Link, which... The Link is fucking absurd! I'm honestly shocked. Magical must tier max. Link one. And if it's Link Summon, you can either add Magical Must spells or traps with different names up to the number of monsters I control, or special summon monsters up to the number of spell traps I control. So anyway, basically, if I have a board, they get to just swarm the field. So they get two of their musket things, and they're going to get 
the spell, which changes my monster's attack to zero, and they're going to get the popper, so... And they're going to drop the popper from their hand to get rid of my fleur de lee, and then they're going to drop this thing to make my dogmatic and nexus zero attack, and they're going to poke over me. So they just ate my board, and they've got two cards follow-up. They actually set a card, which I guess it's not a musket. But, you know, I'm doing pretty good here. So we've seen the invoked portion of the deck. We've seen the Dogmatica portion of the deck. Now let's show you the Shadal portion of the deck. So we're going to fire off Shadal Fusion because it's fine. I can shoot, I can summon the Shadal Fusion, and if my opponent controls a monster special summon the extra deck, I can fuse from deck. Absurd. And the Shadals like going to the graveyard, being sent to the graveyard by a card effect. So this is, just, this is about the plus, like, fucking mad. We're going to make El Shadal App Cologne, which, yeah, yeah, I can negate an effect, so I kind of want to get rid of this thing. I, I, don't, I forget what I do. We'll find out what I fucking do. Yeah, I did want to get rid of that thing. And my Dragon Chains in the Graveyard, I can pop a card. And my Wendy Chains in the Graveyard, I can do some Graveyard Manipulation bullshit, so... Gonna, no, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, you special summon that. Special summon that Shadal. I popped this back row. What was it? Solemn Judgment! I'm surprised they didn't fire it when I activated Shadal Fusion, to be honest, but oh well. And so we're gonna oh yeah, that was a that was a misclick because every every fucking time I did something, the Alistair Quick effect was like, wanna activate, wanna activate, wanna activate, and then I eventually just accidentally hit it and it boosts my lady. But I've got El Shadal Fusion to do a fusion with monsters from hand or field it's a quick play fusion so i fuse these two into el shadal winda nasty little fucking card each player can only special summon once per turn while this card's face up on the field and my alistair boosts this lady and okay these are doing some graveyard too this is the graveyard shenanigan uh nel shadal ariel uh -huh. and so that banishes a bunch of bullshit Squamata sends another Shadal from deck to grave, and that's Hedgehog, and that gets me Wendy, which I can just normal summon, and, you know, uh, we got game on board. <laughs> so, a little bit of everything got shown off in Invoked Dogmatica Shadal. You saw a little Invoked, you saw a little Dogmatica, and we ended with the Shadal portion of the deck. And, you know, and, it, and it even went kind of linear, you know? Started with Invoked, went with Dogmatica for my first battle phase, then went with Shadal for my second battle phase to win. It's, yeah, okay. So, it's a good deck. Uh, respect to the Magical Musket deck, which seems absurd, but it's rogue, I guess. I, I'm gonna, I'm being conservative and charitable. I assume it's rogue and not, like, Table 500. This is complete garbage. But then again, you're talking to the person who played fucking Common Charity Wetlands for the normal slash rare tournament. So, good Christ. But for the Synchro Fest, which is the rest of these replays, I played a good deck. Next time on Fresno's Master Duel, if you'll join me, we go back to the virtual world. And let me tell you, the next duel I show you, the next video, is the single best card game I have ever played in my life. How's that for fucking hype? So, uh... Join me for that. But uh, if you don't, or if you're just waiting patiently, uh, thanks for joining me for this one. And we'll see you for the next one, hopefully. Uh, till then, good evening, and bye for now.